Um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys a bit about how I got to apply. I came to decide to apply to Harvard. So I go to Afghanistan a lot. I was just recently there in November of last year. So literally like three and a half ish months ago i was in afghanistan and every time i go to afghanistan on the plane especially because everyone's just so flabbergasted that i'm sitting on that plane by myself like nobody can believe it the flight attendants are looking at me the other passengers are looking at me because the other passengers are there every time i go to afghanistan the other people on the plane are either afghans or they are from an organization they're from the peace corps or they're from uh, UNICEF or they're from the UN a, a guy tapped me on the shoulder and he said to me be leave it like what were you doing I don't see anybody with you I said yeah I go to Afghanistan by myself he was blown away and he said can I come sit next to you and talk to you and I said of course we talked for hours I have security and he was a grown man he said I am scared when I'm there I have security guards we've got an organization we're very much like not in just walking around traveling like we're, and I have security and I'm a man. And I said, I'm not afraid of these people. And, and we're friends. They are labeled as terrorists, but they're not. They're really not. They're regular people like you and I. So many of them are my friends. So many of them have never harmed one person. So many of them are just trying to protect their own country. Taliban just means student of God. So anyways, um... So yeah, I the Taliban was sitting in like five rows above us and he saw me talking to them in the beginning in the beginning of the flight and um they were just asking me, How was your trip? How did did you feel safe? How was everything? Up like that. So that's what the guy saw. He's like, You were just sitting there talking to the Taliban like they were your brother. So I was just talking about how it was completely fabricated the leave that when when the US left uh the big exit that was all over the news in 2019 when the America when America we left Afghanistan it was totally fabricated completely fabricated oh the actual situation of what happened so I was just kind of breaking down how it was a big lie and how Afghanistan wanted us to leave and Afghanistan was horrible when the u.s was there honestly i wouldn't have gone to afghanistan when the u.s was there now maybe i would have but there was bombings every day there hasn't been bombings really at all since the u.s left uh it was so much more dangerous um there was a lot of a lot of horrible undercover undercover stuff going on by the u.s to the afghans so anyways every afghan in afghanistan will tell you we love having our own country back <laughs> and uh i don't know maybe not being shot and killed in our own country for no reason or our, or our women getting raped so anyways i'm not going to get into all that but anyways i was just talking to the guy about that you should not be afraid you should not da, 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 da. i was telling him the truth about everything going on and then i started getting into he said how are you not afraid and i was just telling him how i travel the world and i'm not i've not really afraid of anything and I've been to 127 countries and I've been to 100 of those countries by myself so anyways he just gives me his business card he doesn't say too much about who he is he's just like please I'd love to stay in touch um and especially because I'm building a school in Afghanistan and he told me he might want to be interested in helping me build my school um and I'm building and I'm writing my own um curriculum for the school so i will be in charge of what the kids are learning at my school that i'm building which i will be back in afghanistan in about four weeks to oversee my school so anyway he emails me and then he says that he was on the board of harvard and that he thinks he was talking to his friends and he was like you need to apply to harvard like and i was like there's just no way that's gonna happen like i'm on a mission to visit every country in the world and I cannot like I'm not a school person I don't like repetition I don't like I, I just can't sit behind desks like it's not me I am an active person that's why you see me traveling the world like this like it's just not gonna happen I'm not person I'm not a person who 
likes to conform to like structure, which is why I live this way. And I think to sit behind a desk and to put your head in a book is not the way to live. And life is so short. I want to live, not be behind a desk with my head in a book by an idiot that, and I don't even know, and a professor who's probably an idiot too. So anyways, and Elon Musk says the same thing. And all my heroes, they didn't go to school. All of the most successful people in the world, they went rogue. They went to go figure out life by themselves. And um, there's so many people with degrees with absolutely no sense. And they swear that they're the people telling you that meat is bad for you. <laughs> people with degrees, yeah? And people telling you that the world is ending and that global warming and the polar bears are dying because you're eating meat or something like that. I don't know because, I don't know. I do not trust, I don't like, uh, I was kind of, I feel like anti-college is a very strong statement where it was not that strong with me. It just was not my thing. So anyways, uh, he kept emailing me, please apply to Harvard. Please, like, please, I want you to go to Harvard. Like, you would be perfect. And he's like, MJ, you wouldn't even have to come to the campus. The courses are online. Talking to me about an anthropology degree and why he thinks I would suit the anthropology program in Harvard really well. But he was like, you could even just start going and not even choose your major yet. Like you can just, uh, you can choose your major later or you could apply for it now. But he was like, I just imagine you um, getting an anthropology degree and He's like, you could even probably teach some of the anthropology courses. He's like, because he said, sitting and talking to me, I seem smarter than a lot of the students he already knows going there for that. Like, because I've been traveling the world so long and it does make you intelligent uh, doing life. Hey, what a concept. Do life. Go do life. I think that's what I'm, I'm a do lifer more than I am. Go to college. Get a job right away. Da -da 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 -da. So anyways, um, so yeah, so he kept just emailing me, emailing me, please, please, please just consider it. Why not? Why not? Just try. And so I emailed him. Um, I thought about it for about three months and I told him I would apply. He freaked out and he was like, Thank I'm so excited. And yeah, I would definitely be doing, if I get in the online course, um, but we've got a long way to go. I've got to officially complete my application and interviews. Um, and I won't find out if I get in until around next year this time. So, of course, I will be documenting that whole process, especially if I get accepted. That will be all over this channel. Um, I love watching those videos of people opening up their acceptance letter, <laughs> you know? So again, um, I was kind of putting off applying because I'm thinking, I'm on a mission to visit every country in the world, but he, my friend who kept emailing me kept saying, you don't need to, you don't need to go to the campus. He said the majority of the students don't go to the campus. They, they do the courses, all the courses are available online. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll find out if I get in around, it takes around a year. Yeah, I'll find out if I get in around this year, next time. This, around next, this time, next year. So, yeah, I'll be completing my mission to visit every country in the world, but I will be done by the time I start attending Harvard. So, by the time I get accepted, I will have completed my mission to visit every country in the world. I plan to finish that this go that goal this year this year um so yeah i'm applying to harvard which is very exciting people always ask me what are you gonna do when you're finished visiting every country in the world other than getting married having kids starting a few businesses writing books and publishing books i'm gonna be going to harvard god willing god willing I have not been accepted yet, but I will be documenting all of it, all of it, the whole process. So yeah, I won't be moving. The funny thing is I did go to college. I did go to university before I traveled and then I dropped out because I was like, this is, this is, I, 
I, I cannot. My attention span, I cannot sit in a chair and listen to somebody talk to me. If you still want to get some kind of degree, maybe sure. But right when you're starting out life, when you're young, when it, if this is the time you should be traveling the world, that's my advice for all you young people. If you have kids who are young, do not force your children right out of high school to go to college. Don't. Let them go live and explore. That time is so precious. Like 18 year old, 19, 20, 21, 22. That time is so precious to be your own person. Like not moving from one structure to another structure. Go and, and, and getting in debt, right? Go see the world go live before you get married before you get into a relationship before you get into you know sp uh, racking up money on uh, racking up debt on your life that is probably going to be over you most ma majority of americans have debt they're paying until their late 60s go do life first go live that those years are so precious don't even get into a relationship fast stay single Go see the, go do life and, and get away from where you where you're from. Kobe Bryant gave the same advice. He said the the, the best thing you can do for, as a young person starting life, young adult, get away from where you're from, get away from your hometown, get away from your parents, get away from everything you you're from, and go seek adventure and danger and and mystery. There's nothing like travel. There's nothing like it. It sharpens every and fine tunes every part of you because you really need your brain to just figure out how to maneuver through life as a foreigner you know what i mean in foreign land you know and you learn so much you know so anyways i'm so glad i did it this way um and again i gotta know if i got in but uh again I, and i'll be doing i'll be attending school online if i get in um, and I'd also love to teach one day, be a professor, applying to Harvard and finishing every country in the world just to start off, just, just to get my life started. You guys, brief intermission to let you know that you need to get something on, that we've got all kinds of gems on MaryJanesWorldTour.com. I put all of my Japanese favorites in the form of boxes on my website. So we've got beauty boxes, we've got boxes where I put Japanese rice to make rice water for hair growth. This rice to, to make rice water with will have your hair growing so gorgeously. This is Japanese hair growth rice. We've got that on my channel, I on my website. I put in a spray bottle in the box so you can make your rice water and then put in a spray bottle and apply it to your hair we've got beauty box where i put all kinds of japanese beauty japanese hair oils uh the best face masks we've got snack bo snack box where i fill a box just full of delicious these are little Flan chocolates, how cute, and they're delicious. Everything is delicious. I fill a box. This is chocolate, anime chocolate. I fill a box full of delicious Japanese snacks. We've got chips. I really, 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 really hook these boxes up. Um, a little wait for ice cream we've got all kinds of stuff i fill a box up full of snacks i also ship delicious delicious milk japanese milk jam um it's so delicious available on my website and the best peanut butter you will ever taste in your life all natural japanese peanut butter made not even far from where i live here in southern japan um it also comes with uh ginger tea this is so good for digestion ancient asian health secrets uh we've got all kinds of stuff beauty boxes like i said where i put a ton of oils japanese oils and beauty products I sh and i just put everything you need in a box uh is there anything else i want to talk about yeah my website you're directly supporting 
by getting something on my website, you're directly supporting my goal, my mission to visit every country in the world. Um, because I have to finish that this year. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're doing it. We're, it's gonna take one country at a time. But we're going to do this this year. It's going to get done. So you're directly supporting my mission to visit every country in the world by getting something on my website. I always am like, huh, we're going to do this thing. Sometimes it seems impossible, but those are my kind of goals. If something seems too, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. Then it's not even something me worth doing. When it's like impossible, it's like Mary Jane's going to go get it. So... It seems, oh, I do have 127 countries under my belt, done and completed. My poor passport. <laughs> Should I show it? Passport. Which I actually got a new passport and I'm going to go pick it up tomorrow. Um, because this one, look at this, poor. It's almost worn out to the point you can't even see my country anymore, the U.S., this poor passport. Look at this. It's completely full as my Afghanistan visa. Look, that's the last page of this passport. It's completely full. Completely. And just beat up. Like, just beat to a pulp. This poor... <laughs> Another visa. Yeah. It's just... It's done for. There's no space left here. So I had to go to the embassy last week and uh, I showed them, <laughs> I'm like, look at this poor thing and there's no space left on this passport. And they were like, oh gosh. So I got myself a new one. Don't worry. I pick it up on Friday. I got it from the US embassy here. But yeah, this thing is just done. You can't even see some stuff. This was Tanzania, my Tanzania visa. When I was in uh, Tanzania. Um, yeah, it's just done. Kenya, visa. Ethiopia, visa. Man. And this is my third passport. That I have completely, completely finished. So yeah, it's done. But I don't throw them away. So I have my fourth passport at the embassy i go pick it up on friday so yeah that's done that is done but anyways um yeah completing this mission to visit every country in the world this year support me by getting something on my website support my mission to finish this last 67 countries by getting something on maryjanesworldtour.com get yourself some snacks or some japan beauty or some Japanese peanut butter, which is so delicious. Um, and I'm so glad, excited to take you guys on this journey of mine, uh, seeing if I get into Harvard.